In this video, we're gonna see how to automate certificate generation using Python. This is helpful especially for the teachers who want to generate certificate for 100 students or even 500 students. If you do it manually, it will take huge amount of time. But with this tutorial, you can automate certificate generation using Python. Now you can even generate 1000 certificates in just a few minutes. So let's get started. So before we proceed here, we need a sample template. You can see that I have this sample certificate template. Let me open up. Consider this the sample template that I have. So if you don't have your one, so don't worry, we can easily get a certificate sample template by just going to the canva.com. So let me close this. If you open up the browser and go to the canva.com, you can see that in the search bar you can type certificates. It will display all the certificates that you have. You consider so make sure you select your one and you consider you can select this and you can customize this. So first select the certificate, then continue watch this video. You consider I have already one. So then we need to create the output folder. So in this output folder, we're going to put all the generated certificates. So you can name it on generations. This will be generations or you can also name it downloads. So inside this folder, we're going to put all our generated certificates. So currently we don't have any, but later part of this video, we're going to generate the certificates and put inside the folder. So next we need to install all the required libraries for this video. So let's open up the command prompt now and just type the following commands pip install pillow we need a library called pillow so that we can interact with the images so further just type pip install pillow we consider requirement already satisfied let me close that and then let me open up this uh, current folder in the visual studio code consider code dot this will open up the current folder in the visual studio code so let me close this we don't need it anymore consider in this folder i have the sample certificate template so let me close this. Let's create a Python file now. So the file name will be main.py. It can be anything. Let's import the libraries that we need first. So from the pillow, we're going to import the image class. So this is used to open up the image. And we also need the image draw. So using this, we can put a text on the image. And finally, we need the image font. So using this, we can customize our font. So we're going to download the font from the Google and Using this image font, we're going to open it. Then we need the OS, so import OS. After that, we need a name list of the students. So I have a sample name list here. So let me open up the name list now. So if I type the manually, it will take huge amount of time. Consider I have your sample name list here. Let me copy this and paste it here. So this is our sample name list. Uh, we have uh, 10 students here. So we want to generate this certificate for these 10 students. So if you have Excel, you can also get the names from the Excel. So if you have Excel notebook, and in that notebook, if you contain all the names of the students, you can also easily import it. So if you want to integrate it, I will also provide a documentation. You can check that out. But for in this video, we're going to use this name list. Let's use a for loop now to loop through this name list now. So inside this folder, we're going to put all the surveys. And sometimes, even if you don't have the folder, we can also create it using the Python. So let me delete that folder. So I'm going to create that folder using Python. So os.make directory. So inside this, we can create our folder so that is certificates if the folder is exist then we don't want to create it that's why exists ok equal to true if the folder is exist then it will won't create it but if the folder is not exist it will create the certificates so let's look through that now for index and name in enumerate so using the enumerate it will return two values that is the index value as well as the individual name so let me enumerate to this name list so enumerate so we're gonna Look through these individual names. So we're gonna use the follow to look through the individual name list. And inside this follow, what we're gonna do is first we have to open up this certificate template. So let's open the certificate template now. So certificate template equal to to open the image that is the certificate image. We're gonna use the image class. So image dot open inside this pass the certificate name that is the uh, certificate template dot png. So let me copy the file name so let me copy this file name and paste it here so this is the certificate name so now we got the image open right then what we can do is we can use a draw object so using this draw object we can put a text on this certificate so draw equal to image draw so image dot image draw dot draw so we're gonna draw on the certificate template so so we're gonna draw on the certificate template that is we're gonna put a text on this template now we got the draw object right then what we can do is we can use a font because we need a font right Be to get the font just head over to google and just type google fonts here select the font that you like in this case i'm gonna choose the font like you consider the the there are lots of fonts available but 
the font I'm gonna choose is the dancing script console this is the font that I have uh, choose so just click on get font now to download it this this is the font that we are interested in so just click on get font and click on this download button and I'm gonna save this font to the project folder you can see this is the project folder let me save this you can also use the default fonts but I'm gonna show you you can also get the fonts from the google fonts and you can integrate in your own project also so let me open up this uh, folder so let me extract this now you can see this is the extracted files so let me delete all the files that we don't need so let me delete this easy file we don't need it anymore let's also delete these text files we don't need it and what we can do is inside the static folder the font that we are interested in is dance script regular one so that what we can do is we can also delete this we don't need it so we are interested in this regular font so let me copy this regular font let me copy this and paste it in the outside the one so now the font and the image python file are located in the same place you consider all the three things are located in the same place so i'm using the regular font if you are using the uh, bold you can also use that in this video i have used the dancing script regular one so let's go to the visual studio code now let's try to input that font now so font equal to to use the font just use the class call the image font dot true type so this will be true type and here inside is pass the file name that is the dancing script hyphen regular you are using the regular font if you want to use the bold you can also do that the file extension is ttf ttf dancing script dot ttf and we can then specify the size of the font in this case you can also specify 60 i think this will be huge so let's try to reduce it now so this is the font size so make sure you put it up appropriately we can safely put 30 so 30 is our font size now now we got the font as well as the image right then we can uh, get the text position where we want to put the text on the certificate so we have to pass the location here so to get the location what we can do is so let me here i am interested to put the uh, text on this location that is above the line so let me open up this image in the paint so so that we can get the location i have opened the image in the paint now so what we can do is we can select the location you consider i have selected this location and if you look down now you consider you will get the two coordinates that is the x coordinate and y coordinate so let me zoom up for you, you consider here you can see two options 546 706 this is the coordinates that we are interested in so let me try to place the coordinates here 546 so let me go one more time so make sure you put the location where you want to place the text so this is uh, let me 546 and 708 so let's try to place the location so this is the x location and y location so this is where we want to put our text now we got the location right then we can uh, draw the text so draw the text so the text position so first we have to pass the position and then we need to pass the name so this will give us the name individual name now we have passed the text position as well as the name then what we have to do is fill equal to the color the font the color will be black i'm gonna use the blank color now if you want to use different color you can also specify the color name then font this will be our font that we have used here so font equal to font so that's it now what we can do is we can simply save the file but before that we can define a file name now so file name equal to this will be i'm gonna give a name as a file name so if the student name is combination i'm gonna save the file name as combination.png so this is our file name so file name now we have defined the file name right then we can define the output folder since we have the certificate folder even if the folder is not located we can create the folder using the python so output file equal to os.path.join so i'm gonna put the generator certificates in the certificates folder so i'm gonna join the certificates folder and the file name so save file name this will make sure all the generated certificates are put inside this gener certificates folder so that's it now we got the output part as well as the file name then what we can do is we can simply save the image so let me try to save the image now certificate template the save inside this you have to give output part so that's it now we can simply print a message like so i'm gonna pr print the index so how many certificates are currently generating and i'm gonna print a message like certificate generator for name 
certificate generator for the name and I'm gonna leave the name so that's it what we can do is we can try to run this script now so let me run this script now so I think we got the error so let me try to fix it now so the file extension for the font is tt of have misspelled so that's why we got this error so let me clear the screen and let's try to run this now you can see that it is generating the certificate certificate generator for the name Kumaration Muhammad Ali and it is generated for the 10 certificates so let me close this and let's try to go to the output folder now so inside the certificate folder you can see that here we have the certificates but the font size is too small since we have give the font size 30 you can see that the font size is too small so let's try to increase it now so let's try to open a, another certificate you can see that the font size is too small consider here also too small so let's try to increase the font now so let me close all of these and let's go to the visual studio port so instead of giving 30 so we can give 60 now so let's try to rerun this python script so don't worry the existing file will be rewritten so we consider let's try to open up the file now consider since we increase the font size the location is the location is collapsing so we have to redefine the location now so let's try to increase the font size as well so let's try to update our location now so let me open up the certificate in the paint again so let me open up the sample certificate in paint so let's try to put the text here above the line so i'm gonna put the text above the line now so let's try to do this now so that even if we increase the font size it won't collage with the line so let's try to increase this text location to instead of 548 i'm gonna give 673 and 672 so let's try to run this one more time consider now it is regenerating so let's try to view the font now you consider now it is good you consider now it is good we can also increase the text position so let me try to change this to 690 and 689 i'm gonna change the font size to 85 let's see if you got a bigger text you consider i think it is also collapsing with the line underline so let's try to change the text position i'm gonna decrease it to 650 and 649 so you have to play with this text position to put the text appropriately on the certificate so let's try to open the certificate now now it is accurate you can see that john smith and the font size is also pretty good so if you want to center it so make sure you play with the text position you consider it is good 650 and 649 so let me close this so consider if you want to center it you have to play with the text position so let me minimize this let's go to the output folder now so inside this output folder you consider we have the 10 certificates now it is good you consider all the certificates are good so if you want to center it you have to play around with the text position you consider all the certificates are good so let me close this so let's try to open this up consider this certificate is also pretty good so let me close this you consider do you see the power of using the python now we have created the 10 certificates in just say uh, 10 seconds this is the power of using the python now you can even generate thousand certificates in just say uh, one minute if you want to save this certificate as a P pdf also you can do that to do that simply we have to change the file name so let me remove this two line so now pdf path equal to this will be so let's try to put the pdf path now so os that path join join os that path dot join inside this i'm gonna use the certificates folder so inside the certificate folder i'm gonna join the file name so let's give the file name now the file name will be name whatever the student name will be the file name and the extension is pdf so instead of saving it i'm first we have to convert this to rgp so certificate template that convert rgp then we have to save it so this time we can save the pdf path so that's it now if you try to run this now it will generate the pdf for you consider it is generated the pdf now so let's try to open up the project folder so the project folder is located i think it is located around the downloads so here we have the project folder let me open up the certificates folder consider it is generated this pdf also you consider this is the pdf that we got let me close this and let's try to open this now consider the font size is good but we have to center it if you want to center it play around with it exposition so using this this is especially useful for the teachers who want to generate 500 certificates or 1000 certificates you can do this with this tutorial so yeah this is for this video and i will continue in the next one